Hey everybody and welcome to Vector Twist, the place where you can learn all about Adobe Illustrator. I'm Simona and I'm here to show you that learning it is easier than you think. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create your own monogram logo. It is really not that complicated and here's a final image of what we will be creating. Of course I chose my initials, but of course you would choose your own. Now the first thing we have to do, we have to pick a font. This makes life a little bit easier. And here let me show you what font I have chosen. I went to thefont.com and I picked a font called Old English Regular. Just go and download it, it's free, and then just install it on your computer. So here, let's get started. So first I'm going to choose the type tool here, and then I'm pressing the first letter of my name. So of course it's S for Simona. And then I'm going to scale it up. After that I want to create the second letter. But I don't want to just type on the same line, so all I'm going to do is make a copy of the first, and then with the type tool, highlight it and change it into a P. Since the P looks quite big here in comparison to the S, I'm going to just select it and scale it down a little bit to about this size. Now what I want to do, I want to actually overlap both letters. We want to join them. So here we're going to just move them towards the S. And then when we think we have a good position, I think to about here, we're going to select both of the letters and then we're going to type create outlines. What this will do is we'll actually take away the ability to change the letters again and create shapes out of them. Then I'm going to open up the Pathfinder tool and here I'm going to unite them. I'm going to select the unite button here under the shape modes. And now you can see we have one solid shape. Of course, there's something funny happening in this section here. So let's clean this up. So I will zoom in and then I'll select the shape and then I'm going to select the pen tool. Now when I hover over those anchor points, I see a minus. That means if I click on the anchor point, it will take it away. And that way we can clean up the shape. Now I select it over here too. And maybe I want to actually remove this anchor point here. And then on the other side, I think I will remove this one as well. Then with the direct selection tool, I'll grab this anchor point here and I'll move it up. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'll see if I want to actually select this one and move it in a little bit. Now if I zoom out, I think that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to go to the next step. First, I would like to actually add some thickness to it. Now we can do that two ways. We could add a stroke or we could actually offset the path. So let me show you. We select the shape, we go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Here we're going to set the value of two points and then we're going to see what it looks like. So let's click the preview. It might be a little bit much, so maybe one point. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard for up and down to add to the points. I think that looks okay. So now let's press OK. Now of course we have two shapes, the original one, and the offset one. So we select both of those shapes and we're going to unite them again. Now the next step is to actually create this part here. Let me show you again which one I mean. So here I'll zoom out. We want to create this shape in the inside and we want to add diagonal lines. Now let me show you how we can do this. So I'll turn on the shape that we've just created, our monogram so to speak. Then I'll select it again. I go back to object, path, offset path, but this time I'm not going to use a positive value, I'm going to use a negative value. So if I add a negative value, you can see here we can offset it quite nicely. So maybe minus four points, and then I'll click OK. Now since that is black again, let's give it a color. I'm a big fan of blue, so of course I'm going to choose a blue color. Now we want to actually clean up that shape as well. You can see here we have some extra points that we don't need. So again, with the pen tool, we can just start cleaning them up. So all I have to do is hover over until I see the minus sign, and then I can clean them up. So I'm going to go through to see if we have some extras that we need to remove. And it's really just the ones that are looking funny that are sticking out. Like here, we have one that we have to remove, and then this one here. And then this shape here as well. You might have to zoom in quite a bit so we can see them and then we can remove them. Now when I zoom out, 
our shape is really cleaned up. Now let me show you how we can create those diagonal lines. First, we want to set the stroke to a black, and then we want to use the pen tool and create a diagonal line in a 45 degree angle. So here, let me show you. All I have to do is click once, then press the shift key on the keyboard, and you can see it creates my diagonal line, and it snaps it to a 45 degree angle. And then I press again, and now I have my diagonal line. Now let's change the weight to half a point, and then we're going to create a copy of it. So I'll select it, and I drag it to the other side here. Then I select both of those lines, and then I'm going to Object, Blend, Make. Now what that did is that it created just one line in between, but we want to have many lines in between. So to speak, a step and repeat. So all we have to do is go into our toolbar here and select the Blend tool. But instead of selecting it, we want to double click it. Now here in the pop-up in the Blend Options, we want to change the spacing from Smooth Color to Specified Steps. So when I turn on the preview and I increase this value here, it will add more steps in between those two lines, meaning it creates more lines in there. So now I'm going to just go up to probably about 100 or 115. It really depends how tight you want those lines to be. This is really up to you. I think 115 works well for this particular example. Now I press OK, and now we have those lines. Now of course we want to clip them just to the blue shape. Now let's select the blended lines, and then let's go and lock them. After that, I want to select the blue shape, and then we want to press Command, C, and F, which means it will create a copy exactly into the front. And then we want to move it on top of our blended lines, and then go back, unlock those lines, then select the shape, the lines, and since the blue shape is on top of the lines, we can now create a clipping mask. So we're going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And now you can see the lines were clipped to the blue shape, and now it looks like those lines are just in the blue shape. And we're almost done here with our monogram. Now what we want to do, we want to actually create a copy of our black shape into the back. So we can do this again by Command C and B, or Control C and B, and then I'm going to give it a white color and a black stroke, and then I'm going to move it away from the black shape. Probably just like two points, just like this. And here we have it. This is our monogram. If you like, you can even move it a little bit more. This is really up to you. And this is it. Our monogram or monogram logo is finished. Of course, you can tweak it a little bit more. You can add some other stuff or you can create some borders around. I've added a circle that has wavy edges here. And I've added the black, the blue, and the white just to reflect the colors of the monogram. And this is it. This is how you can create your own personalized monogram or monogram logo if you want. Now, you can do lots of fun things with your own monogram. For example, you can print it on your own t-shirt, and then you have your monogram on a t-shirt. Or you can actually make stickers and stick those stickers everywhere you like, for example, your laptop or your phone case. And you can also maybe print it out and put it in a frame and hang it on your wall. You can even add it stitched on a pillow or have it printed on your coffee cup and so on. So I hope you had fun with this video tutorial on how to create your own personalized monogram. And please subscribe to the channel here on Vector Twist and go check out VectorTwist.com as well and sign up for the newsletter so you'll get notified when a new video tutorial is live. I'll see you next time.